what's up guys welcome to the video i'm in the spot with the perfect lighting as you can tell anyway i'm actually down a few pounds this week I'm pricing at about 198 197 right now which is great i'm looking great life is great but anyway the thing i wanted to show you all right now was my basically diet for the week um it's trained dramatically and it's changed for the better made some adjustments watched a ton of videos on things learned a lot really excited for this week and this coming next two to three weeks now it's still hella zoomed in all right now we zoomed out so i'm just going to show you all my meal prep i got going on because it's sunday so i meal prepped a lot so in these we have a serving of rice ground beef about four ounces and i threw and i got mixed veggies you can see right there, just get me some serving of vegetables. My serving of vegetables have definitely gone way up. That's what's in these. This is extra lean ground turkey, 99.1. Um, you'll see what I'm doing with that in the morning, aka breakfast. And then this is chicken and broccoli. So about six, uh, six ounces of chicken, 6.5 ounces of chicken, roughly around 40 grams of protein, give or take three to four. And then I'm gonna throw in with the broccoli, what I'm gonna try out this week is where's that uh some fat free mozzarella got this from one of the videos i was watching the dude was like um this christian guzman he was doing the summer shredding and he was like he throws in the fat free mozzarella zero grams of fat two grams of carbs nine grams of protein add some taste to it so it will be very good looking forward to trying it out and no grams of sugar so really good so anyway that's what i'm showing you all right now about to study, got a nutrition test in the morning. Need to study up, because they use a lot of big fancy words. But anyway, next clip is probably, next clip's gonna be me eating breakfast. Three, two, one. All right guys, like I said, I was gonna show you all breakfast and what I do with the lean turkey. So right here we have four egg whites, one egg, and then about two to two and a half ounces of the lean ground turkey, and then oatmeal. So that's what's up, that's breakfast. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys, so now I'm about to study up, I'm gonna test it in a little bit, and yeah. What's up guys, we're hitting you with the quote of the week. Today's Monday, so we have a new quote for the week. Today's quote is, as you can see, vision is the ability to see what's invisible to everyone else. Boom, that's the quote, it's a good one, I like it. But anyway, so I am, <laughs> About to head to the gym right now. Um, got a uh, heavy bench day with some deadlifts and then some back accessory work. I'm gonna show you all a little bit of that, but I think during the workout I'm gonna talk about DUP training, which is what I've been up to for the past three weeks, and I'm gonna break it down a little bit and explain it. And yeah, I think we're going voiceover for this one, so I think it'll be easier that way. I'm just trying to see how it goes, but anyway, so get ready for that. And uh, three. Two, one. What's up, guys? All right, so this voiceover is actually going to be fairly quick. I thought about explaining everything through a voiceover, but then I realized that's not really what I wanted to do. I'm not really sure I could get across what I wanted to get across. So essentially, you're just going to see... What you're seeing right now is my strength day for a bench. I'm doing 335. The goal is to get to 3 to 4, which I believe I do. So yeah, that's what you're seeing right now. So I just wanted to give you all a, kind of like a visual of what to look at. So yeah, you're seeing a strength day bench, and then you're going to see a deadlift. Um, I did three sets of five at a deficit, so a little bit lighter weight. I did about 365, and this is more of an auxiliary deadlift day. So I, you, technically, it's still strength because it's three sets of five. But for my deadlifts, this is definitely more of like hypertrophy for me. Uh, definitely more reps, and so that's what I'm doing right now. This is what you're seeing. But yeah, so quick voiceover just to kind of explain what's going on. And another side note, I know in my last video I said in my next video I was going to be doing the overreaching protocol thing. Yeah, well, I'm still doing that, just not, obviously not right now. It actually got moved back. Some things came up. So we actually moved it back about two weeks. But yeah, that will still definitely be on the channel, still definitely be a video. So I know you weren't worried about it, but if you were, that explains it. So now you don't got to be worried about it. So anyway, just look at this. Um... So what you saw, you saw the bench. 
So yes, now I'm about to go into an actual like um, whiteboard talk and talk about my bench and my squat when it comes to DUP. So I hope you enjoy. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up. All right, what's up, guys? Whiteboard time. Okay, so originally, I had I had already filmed like a segment on my small whiteboard, and I didn't really like it, so I was like, scratch that. So anyway, we're filming this right now. Got to think about my whiteboard. Fun fact. I've been going to the school for like a year and a half, and I just now figured out where the whiteboard rooms were. But I figured it out, so that's what matters. Okay, so, DUP whiteboard. So I wanted to get the whiteboard because I wanted to give you all examples because there's a lot of great stuff out there, like YouTube videos and stuff, where they talk about it, but they don't necessarily provide any examples. And I know personally for me, I like examples because examples will make everything click. So, we're gonna break it down. So, DUP. Daily undulating periodization, okay? So, most strength programs to get you stronger, we talk linear, that's what linear is, okay? Linear, straight up, gradual progression. And this refers to, when I refer to my DUP training, I'm referring to my squat and my bench three times a week, the day in between. So, um, benching Monday, Wednesday, Friday, squatting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, okay? So, here's what we got. Linear, most common. Typically, you can go straight up. If you don't really know what linear is, you probably do. You probably just don't realize you don't know it. So here's an example of, say, a five to 10 week program. Do three sets of 10, one to two weeks. Drop down three sets of eight, one to two weeks. Three sets of six, one to two weeks. Three sets of four, one to two weeks. For that, you could say after that, you'd like retest and then you would adjust your numbers and then you'd come back with three sets of 10, three sets of eight. You're gonna progressively overload over time. Um, your weight's gonna increase as your reps decrease. It's been proven to work, it's common, okay? Also been proven to work, DUP. As you can tell, linear, you're progressing straightly. DUP, your progression is gonna vary because you're gonna be doing different reps, weight, and intensity. So DUP, simple terms, means different loads, reps, intensities vary every session. You can do it weekly, but I'm gonna, I do it daily, so we're gonna talk about daily. Load reps intensities vary every session. And by daily, I mean every other day for when I hit my bench and my squat, okay? So typically DUP is done in mesocycles, three to four weeks, or three to four weeks is essentially probably about one mesocycle. So, um, and then you probably wanna have a deload week after that third or fourth week, especially doing this. And adding in some deadlifts once or twice a week. It's another day for another story. So here's an example of a DUP program. So say Monday, you'll do three sets of three. Say Wednesday, you'll do three sets of seven. And say Friday, you'll do three sets of 10 to 12. That is DUP because every session is different. The loads are different, the reps are different, and the intensities are gonna be different. Whereas if you come in Monday, Wednesday, Friday on a traditional linear program, you're talking three sets of 10 every day you're doing that. So DUP. This is essentially what it is. You're essentially changing up your intensity, your volume, and your reps. Um, typically, uh, you see a lot of times on the internet, people talk DUP, they talk, they talk a strength day, hypertrophy day, and a power day or endurance day. Two different things, but one or the other usually. So this would be strength, hypertrophy, endurance. But what I do personally, because I'm mainly focused on strength, so my DUP, varies greatly. I don't do endurance. So I don't do like an endurance day, a rep day. Um, Cause I'm not really concerned what I can hit on squat and what I can hit on bench for 10 reps. Doesn't really bother me. I'm not trying to hit no new 10 rep PRs, okay? If you are, great, good for you. But that's not me. So what I do, my Monday, my Tuesday for my squats, it's three to four reps heavy. So I calculate one of my three rep maxes of my 100% of my squat. So that way I know I'm going as heavy as possible for three reps. Then I'm gonna come in the next day and I'm gonna do three sets of six. Well, the next day I do that group. So say benching, so say we have a Monday workout, a Wednesday workout, and this would be a Friday workout. You just saw the Monday workout, the heavy bench, three sets of four, that's what that was. And so I'm gonna come in on Wednesday, and I'm gonna do a little bit less weight, but I'm gonna go for more reps. So it's gonna be six to seven reps. And once again, that is based off my six rep max. So once again, I'm pushing maximum. Then we'll come back in on Friday at the end of the week and hit, hit a three rep max 
again based on uh, Mondays. But here's the thing is, say I come in and I'm fatigued, it's Friday, I'm beat up, I'm tired, whatever. So I only hit two reps, say I barely only get one rep, because it's quite possible. So if I only get one rep, I know that I want to hit a three to four rep range, but well, guess what? I'm going to lower the weight so I can hit a three to four rep range. Because what's heavy one day might feel heavier the next day or might feel lighter the next day. So you're going to want to adjust to make sure you stay within what your program is. And that's why these cycles are going to vary because you may feel really strong on one three rep day, then the next three rep day you feel weak, so you're going to be below that one. See what I'm saying? So that's kind of where that goes. So for an example of this was today. Today was today's Wednesday. I'm filming this on Wednesday right now. So I was supposed to hit a three by six to seven. Now last week I hit this three by I hit three by six and a half. Today I did a three by four and a half, and it was beat. I mean, I beat. It felt super heavy. So I was like, all right. So your ego got to stay a little bit back here, right? You got to lower the weight because it's all about following the program, hitting the desired rep range to get yourself stronger. So lowered the weight about 10 pounds. Next set, I, did, I hit out a three by six. I was right where I needed to be. I was able to adjust on the fly. Sometimes with linear programs, it's a little bit harder to adjust on the fly because you're supposed to hit three by 10, three by eight, blah, blah, blah. And another great thing I like about DUP is it brings, to me, it brings an excitement to every workout. So if I'm doing a linear program and I'm doing two week blocks, so I'm here for two weeks, just love my great handwriting. And then I'm here for two weeks, here for two weeks, here for two weeks. By the time that fifth session comes around, for that second week, I'm really tired. I'm like, ugh, I don't really feel like doing this, you know? Three sets of 10. Oh, I've been doing that, you know? It's like, it gets boring. Lifting weights gets very boring and very repetitive. So this actually gonna be something to look forward to because I'm like, ooh, I'm feeling good today. Maybe I'll hit a new three rep max or I'll hit heavier weight for three reps. Or like, ooh, I'm feeling tired. Let's see how I can feel with lighter weight for six to seven. It just varies. I feel like it makes it more exciting, never, not quite knowing what you're gonna hit that day until you're underneath the bar. That's what makes it exciting for me. Okay, so I believe I covered it. I'm by no means an expert, but I've learned this, and I hope you've learned something. Um, any questions, drop them in the comments. Maybe I can make like a responding video where we could learn something together. If you see something else, let me know. Um, comment section, DM me, it don't matter. This is what we got going on. DUP, Daily Undulating Periodization. I really like it, so I just wanted to share it with y'all. I definitely feel like I've gotten stronger because honestly, when I was coming in, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna squat three days a week. Like, I'm gonna be brutal by the third session. But you know what? Surprisingly, by the third session, I was able to hit it like that, like my body knew what it was capable of. And another thing, obviously, with if, I'm, if you're squatting three days a week, on days you squat, you're not gonna do necessarily a whole lot of accessory work because you have to bounce back within 48 hours. So you're not gonna wanna actually drill that accessory work. Even on the bench, you're not gonna wanna kill your chest. Which, Guess what, you're benching again, 48 hours. So that's the UP. Um, you can actually do these on the same day and have a day off in between, but I do them, I have rotate days. So that's what I do. And then this is very hard on your body because I'm also deadlifting about twice, once to twice a week. So I spend a lot of time recovering and then um, I don't do as much auxiliary lifts. So that's, that'd be like your, uh, your bodybuilding lifts, your pump up lifts, your muscle lifts, because I'm training for strength right now. So yeah, I hope that sums it up. And yeah, so if you enjoyed like this style of video, leave a thumbs up, let me know, and I can definitely make more of these styles of videos, because this is kind of fun to do, it's kind of fun to mix it up, it's kind of fun to draw on a whiteboard and like talk about stuff that you think is cool. So that's kind of cool too. But yeah, if you liked it, thumbs up the video, and let's, yeah, thumbs up. It's like very hot in this room. I don't think the AC is working, but all right. So I will see y'all next video. Ready?